Lee Solomon joins us now with more on the conditions that crews are facing. Yeah, there's a, actually a change in the weather coming. It's, it's sort of a minor change, but it is a change that will kick up the winds. We'll take a look at the overall uh, pattern here in California. A lot of fires burning, which obviously means a lot of smoke. So just a kind of a quick overall view of the air quality, which is moderate for most of us. Unless you're near the fires, then you go unhealthy or very unhealthy, and we are not in that zone at this point, although we do have some smoke. And we will talk more about that in your full forecast here in just a little bit. So the bulk of the fires are from about, well, the center part of the state northward, which isn't great for us considering our winds generally come down out of the north northwest. And that's where the smoke is starting to come down to. Here's a cold front and you go cold front. Could it be rain? No, it's a dry cold front. This time of year we don't get any rain, but we will see a wind increase as this moves through over the weekend. We're already seeing some stronger winds. So now we're back into that red flag warning. It covers all the fire areas really from the Mendocino complex up to Redding and the Ferguson fire, the car fire. And of course, that's going to push a lot of smoke out into the Sierra. So as these winds increase, they're 10 to 20 now that could gust to 30, 35. That could cause erratic fire behavior. So everybody's uh, kind of on the edge of their seats with this one as hot temperatures and low humidities continue. Lee, thank you. And those fires on the minds of many here on the Central Coast. In fact, some of them are making supply runs to fire victims with much needed livestock and pet supplies. Action News reporter Felix Cortez caught up with one of those, one of them today. Felix is live in Morgan Hill with more on how people are helping out. And Aaron, I'm not sure if you can see the haze of smoke behind me just beyond those haystacks. Well, that's smoke coming from those fires burning out of control, and that's where Michael Lancaster is headed. I have dog food in the big boxes, these smaller boxes. I have cat food, have horse supplies, dog treats. Michael Lancaster loaded up, ready to head out Saturday morning with a truckload of supplies for fire victims. His third trip in less than a month. This time he chose to head to Lake County. Everybody's headed to Redding with donations. And I had a contact up in Lake County. I contacted her yesterday. Her name is Rita. And I told her exactly what I had and if she could use any of it. And she said, I can use it all. As fires burn out of control, thousands of people are being displaced along with pets and livestock. In some areas, goods are scarce. That's where folks like Lancaster come in, hauling up pet food, livestock supplies, toiletries, clothing, even school supplies. Honestly, it wasn't on my list of, of donations for the trip. It was people just said, school starting, take this. So you know what, you're right, I'll take it. It makes sense. As a former firefighter, Lancaster knows the hardship people are going through. That's why he started making supply runs five years ago, and there is no shortage of community support. And it's just something that the community helps me do. All of this is donated, all of it. I just use my truck, my time. It feels good to know that I'm helping somebody and that I have people helping me to help them. And supplying all that pet food was all Animal Rescue and Friends out of San Martin. Cal Silk out of Gilroy donated some hats, shirts, and sweaters. Uh, shout out to them for helping with Michael Lancaster's uh, efforts, relief efforts. And we're live over here at Silva's Hay and Grain, which is offering a 10% discount for anyone buying supplies for victims impacted by those fires. Aaron, Dan. Felix, thank you. And KSBW's parent company is also assisting in relief and recovery efforts up north. The Hearst Corporation will be contributing $50,000 along with a personal gift of $10,000 from Steve and Barbara Hearst to victims of the car fire. Hearst has partnered with the Sierra Pacific Foundation, which is matching Hearst's contribution and the Shasta Regional Community Foundation. Donations will go towards relief efforts in Shasta and Trinity counties in the days, weeks, and months ahead.